you from the state capitol. Another heated argument about housing. This one centering on increasing housing density near transit centers. Matt Morrow here now to explain both sides of the debate. Matt. Well, Jeremy, there are a lot of bills about affordable housing being debated at the capitol this year. Everyone agrees it's a major issue here in Colorado. What they don't agree on is how to address it. In this case, the dispute comes from a bill that would allow the state to override local rules when it comes to housing density. The bill is called Housing and Transit Oriented Communities. It would basically force about 30 cities, towns and counties, mostly along the Front Range, to rezone housing areas near transit hubs to create denser neighborhoods. This mean could mean more townhomes, triplexes and the like, and more apartment and condo buildings up to 10 floors high. The state would also incentivize cities to do this. He wouldn't tell them exactly how though it would also you know, withhold millions of dollars in shared tax money if the cities don't do it and eventually could take them to court. So we want to encourage local communities to build more housing near transit and we think that is the solution that can cut the cost of living um, and create more walkable neighborhoods. The bill would also require cities to make sure it's affordable housing that's part of these new denser developments. Those who are against the bill don't necessarily disagree with the concept of increasing housing around the transit hubs, but they do not agree with the state trying to force zoning restrictions on local areas. Jeremy. All right, man.